this is a big old surprise to me. This is this isn't something I thought Biden would actually do, but he has issued pardons for thousands of people convicted for cannabis charges. Charges that they should have never gotten to begin with. I guess this is in some sense him helping uh helping heal the troubles he's caused with his support of the what, uh, 1994 drug bill, him and many other Democrats supported it, which uh, put black people in prison a lot longer than their white counterparts for the use of the same drugs. Biden has just issued a sweeping pardon for thousands of people convicted of marijuana possession or use in D.C. and on federal lands. He also commuted the sentences of 11 people serving time for nonviolent drug charges, including some who are serving life sentences for crimes the White House says would be eligible for significantly lower sentences if they were charged today. Well, getting life in prison for using drugs, that is insane. We know this is over the use of cannabis. And these are more than likely black people that got uh, life in prison for cannabis. It's just insane to think that the government gets to dictate who uses what. We should have all drugs regulated and uh, treat it like tobacco or alcohol. And we see Aaron Gilchrist joins us now from the White House. Aaron, good morning. So what specifically is included in this? So, Jose, you laid it out there nicely. There are two pieces to what the president has done today. The first, uh, as you mentioned, is granting uh, clemency, commuting the sentences of 11 people. And you showed their names on the screen there a moment ago. These are all people who were convicted of nonviolent drug offenses, according to the White House. And these are all people whose sentences ranged anywhere from 15 years in prison to life in prison. And the president has said that he's commuting these sentences, as he's actually done uh, in the past during his administration, because of reforms to uh, laws around drug offenses and, and the reality, he says, that each of these people would have been uh, receiving shorter sentences had they been convicted of... Like, if these people, yeah, live nowadays, none of these people would have gotten actually any charges for anything because cannabis is pretty widely legal in the majority of this state. So, the fact, it's just crazy that we have to... Uh, do all this to free these people from bogus crimes. I mean, it's like when they made alcohol illegal. What what did it happen after they prohibited alcohol? It just caused more problems. Yet they w they were willing to make that legal. But even though they saw all the same problems coming from making cannabis illegal, it's taken this long to have any true kind of reform of a crime more recently, and the president says that this is an effort to uphold the values of redemption and rehabilitation, and that is why he is shortening these sentences. Some people will be released from prison next year. Others will serve significantly less than life in prison, if you will. The other people... <clears throat> these people shouldn't be having life in prison just for possessing cannabis. It's crazy to think that somebody who possessed cannabis was considered as much of a threat as somebody who would go on serial killings. Piece of this action today by the president is this uh, really a blanket pardon for certain marijuana offenses as it relates to D.C. law and federal law. We're talking about simple possession of marijuana, attempted simple possession of marijuana, and use of marijuana. Uh, and this is uh, what the president has described as uh, a full, complete, and unconditional pardon for all of these offenses. So we can expect to see uh, the the DOJ and other agencies, uh, prosecution uh, offices, looking at cases now across the country and uh, releasing some of these people who've been convicted of these sorts of crimes.